Okay, so these are books by David Pelham, and they are very silly and very popular with kids because they have some gross stuff hiding inside. I think the only one that doesn't have anything gross is the Say Cheese. So let's start with Sam's Sandwich. So, um, so basically the little sister, I think, Samantha wants to make a sandwich. So let's read, so it says, Samantha said, I've never seen lettuce leaves so crisp and green. So it's good for rhyming words. Mm -hmm. But but as a zesty little filler, Sam popped in a... So you lift the flaps of the lettuce. Caterpillar. So it's got that nice rhyme completion. So it's not just the rhyme discrimination, but rhyme completion. It actually doesn't even have the word written anywhere. Um, and either an adult has to do it, or the child has to guess what it is, or open the flap and label the item. So, um, there's also like tomatoes, and then it says lug, and then there's like slug. So it's good for rhyming words. And then you can get them to lift the flaps. So they have like watercress, they have cucumbers. Um, eggs, so it's a really cute book. It's got lots of food vocabulary and bug vocabulary. And also, S sounds like Sam's sandwich. And we want, maybe we want some. Oh, some is a good salami. one. Salami. Salami and sister and Sam. What did Sam put in his sister's sandwich? Did the he put in the salami? There's a or centip the spider. Oh, yeah, there's spider and there's centipede and slug and snail all hiding within this book. So that's a great one. Like, for Sam cut the bun in two, I think we'll start with mom shampoo. <laughs> and then, um, so sis groaned and turned a little pale as Sam dropped in a slimy snail. Ooh, so it's a lift the flap and pop out book. Yeah, I was just going to say that. So cucumbers has a caterpillar. Uh huh. But these Sam's pizza. So on the side it says like peppers, slugs, pepperoni, olives, tomatoes, mushrooms, and ham. Checked off here. And Samantha, the little sister. So it's like a pizza box. This is her revenge for this sandwich. Actually, she gets revenge on her brother. So, so we have to guess what might have happened. It would be good for inferencing. You could maybe guess whether she actually ate it or not and have a little discussion about it. There's a couple of other activities you can follow up with. There's like some great um, Melissa and Doug toys that you could play it with as well. So there's a Melissa and Doug pizza set. There's a Melissa and Doug sandwich set. And there's another game. It's like a stacking game with big fabric pieces f of for making a silly sandwich. This one's a little bit different. Um, Samantha didn't see Sam pop out to the local butcher shop. He made a lot of pizza pies, but never one with two sheep's eyes. When she stopped and thought a while, her mouth curved in a crooked smile. Later, with a kitchen glove on, she popped the pizza in the oven. When it was cooked, she cut the slice. She cut a slice for Sam because he'd been so nice. Upon the slice, she placed a letter. Your, your. Yours for when you're feeling better. Good. That is good for print awareness. Did you open it up? And Ew. That kids will be involved. Uh, so I think this with. would be my favorite. This one? Yep. That's your favorite. I still like Sam Sam, which is a classic. It was very hard to find there for a while as well, but they just released more copies for their 25th anniversary. Used with used with supervision because the flaps are very delicate and the books are pretty delicate as well and they're kind of hard to find very hard to find and very valuable so guard it with your life <laughs> don't let anybody play with it when you're not around you can also target preposition so looking under the tomatoes and inside the sauce and under the mushrooms and things like that the only exception was this grandma's book, this um, Say Cheese. 
is all about going to grandma's house. So it's it starts with all the m different mice, families of mice, and grandmother wants to have a family photo taken, so she invites the mice from all different areas and where they live in different places, and there's a little invitation, and everybody gets an invitation. They don't really want to go to the family photograph, but they kind of feel like they have to go to grandma's house, so they're not really happy about it. They kind of, it, but it's a really nice rhyming book as well. So they're not really happy about it, but when they get there, the photographer says cheese, and of course, mice and cheese go together very well, and then everyone's happy, and they get to have lots of cheese after the photograph has been taken, so everyone's very happy. So that one's cute too. So someone that's not really liking books, and you can try to convince them with something silly like this to show them that there's lots of magic between the pages, quote unquote, because they're not really pages, they're silly things. We brought also a silly sandwich game just to show you. Yummy matching game with Spinner from yeah. Alex Little Hands. Mm -hmm. So spin and make a peanut buggy and jelly sandwich. So that's a nice so, follow-up game. If you're reading the book, you can play the game after. Yeah. So there's a nice spinner in here. So if you're working on S blends, you spin and then it points to whatever piece you want and then you try to stack your sandwich to try to get all your pieces before your opponent. So uh, this one's a fun one from Alex. So you can make four funny sandwiches, and it can eight slices of bread, twelve ingredients, four recipe cards, and one spinner. You can also make your own silly sandwiches as well. There's some really nice patterns online that have you can make out of that craft foam, and then the kids can stick it together in whatever order they want, and then they have an opportunity to, to do some retail. So they can say, first I got the bread, and then I got a tomato. And then you can work on prepositions. You put on top of the what are you going to put on top of the tomato? Um, you could do put the B after you put the squeaky mouse. Oh, that's good for temporal concepts. That's a good or like one. put the pickle before the dino egg. Yep, that's great following directions tasks. So thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like and comment below and hit subscribe and ring that little bell notification well you'll get a notification in the email and this week we have reached a hundred subscribers yay thanks everybody so, for subscribing thanks for all you who subscribed and we're gonna be doing our giveaway soon so thanks for watching and we'll see you very, very soon. soon thanks for watching bye everybody